Here in the tri-state meantime, we're also seeing more winter weather coming our way. Here's Lonnie with the details. Yeah, you know, today gave you a little bit of both. You had winter weather in the morning, and then by the afternoon, you maxed out at 51 degrees, kind of sort of spring-like out there. That 51, 9 degrees above the average. Your lowest temperature of the day was 34 degrees. Well, there will be some big changes taking place around here over the next few days. First of all, you're below freezing tomorrow morning. You are cold all day long. And then by the time you get to Thursday, there's a snowstorm that moves into the area. The duration of that storm is pretty much locked in. This is not going to be a quick hitter. This one lasts a good, say, 36 hours, anytime early Thursday morning until about Friday afternoon. The intensity, however, is not locked in. This could go, you know, either two inches per hour of snowfall, half an inch per hour. So we'll try to make some sense of it for you and what's going on in our atmosphere. Currently, there are a couple of little upper level snowflakes out there right now. Interesting setup because this is the front that came through with last night's storm. That gave you that early morning ice storm out there north of New York City. This is the front moving through right now. Now, ahead of that front, you've had a pleasant afternoon. Why? Because you always get a southwest wind ahead of a cold front. So it was beautiful. Beautiful out there today. That front moves through your temperatures. They dive bomb tonight. It's a cold morning out there. Cold throughout your day tomorrow. Probably maxing out at around 34 degrees. Then we're focusing on this snowfall around Dallas, Texas. Snow in places where snow shouldn't go. That is going to be pushing farther south and then curving into our area by the time we get to Thursday. So if you take a look at the progression, you're going to see it's moving just like we're talking about. And here it comes. And look at all the different colors. We've got the white with the snow, the pink with the sleet and the freezing rain, the green with regular old rain. So what are you getting more of? Is this a snowstorm? Is it a sleet storm? Is it a, just a rainstorm? Well, it looks as if this is going to be more snow than anything else because this is what we see coming into the area, just pure snow, 8 o'clock Thursday morning. So watch what happens. It overspreads the area by 3.30. You start to see that pink develop around the southern portions of Ocean County. That's where we find the wintry mix, that freezing line starting to move in, the mixing line, excuse me, with just plain rain below that. So watch this. This is 3.30. By the time you get to, say, 11.30, this will be over. 12 hours of all snow in New York City, but it's just nipping now at that hour at Staten Island. It will push a little farther to the north, eventually turn into some rain for some folks as well. So it's more snow than anything else, and that's why we're saying about four to eight inches, if not more. This has the potential to put a foot or more of snow down. The question is, is there going to be that mixing in your area or is this all snow? Right now, I believe there's going to be some rain and some sleet involved, so I'm gonna say four to eight inches or more, and then the farther south you go, the numbers will be a bit smaller. Across the board, 34, partly sunny tomorrow, but not being impacted by any big storms. The storm will get here on Thursday. doesn't leave until halfway through your day on Friday. Then the weekend shapes up to have temperatures in the 30s, 33 Saturday, 34 on Sunday, with a basically good-looking sky overhead. But look at that, another, another storm is possibly brewing for Monday of next week. Guys, that's the seven-day right there. It's all yours. Lonnie, thank you.